Michael Scouten and I am the lead level designer on Subnautica. Initially we were trying some procedural uh, approaches to generating the world, so either just completely procedural or using tiles essentially that uh, level designers had created and then stitching them together, but neither of those approaches worked particularly well just because firstly it's, it's quite clear that it's procedural. I think it wasn't very long after uh, those like initial tests that we decided that just we would just do the entire world um, by hand essentially. I think the um, most challenging thing for me is probably doing the loot distribution. So basically how choosing where where we're spawning uh, resources and uh, plants and things like that and at what rate and density we want those things to appear. It's a balance between you know introducing these new resources and not neglecting the resources we introduced earlier, I guess, so that's maybe the trickiest part about the distribution, I think. So, so basically we have tools for visualising um, how any one resource will spawn in the world uh, globally. So, like for example, I can tweak the numbers for uh, limestone and then just uh, hit a button and basically it shows me everywhere in the world that uh, that limestone will have spawned. It basically simulates the player opening every single batch in the game or every single area of the game and uh, show you what loot was uh, spawned there. So, so we, we do have a system there that's basically simulating some kind of, um, you know, uh, like the, the environmental cost of what you're, you're doing to the biome that you're in. Like when you pick up fish in the world, you can entirely deplete an area of the world essentially uh, just by, but they eventually they'll regenerate and they will start reappearing. We never really want to sort of handhold. Um, we want players to feel lost sometimes because I think when you feel lost, you there's that greater sense of the unknown. And you know, like when you encounter something like uh, one of these enormous like voids, like crevices in the world, and it's just like a, a vertical drop and it's dark. You know, it's intriguing and you don't know what you're going to find there because we haven't really said anything to the player. So it's it's up to them to to discover what's down there. I understand that sometimes it, you, the player can feel a little bit lost, but I think. It's worth it for the just for the experience it creates.